In this video, we're going to see how you can use your word processor to create a uh, quiz that can be uploaded directly into the Moodle quiz feature. So the format that we're going to be looking at today is called the Aiken format. And the Aiken format is ideally used, well, only can be used if your quiz is entirely multiple choice. It can't be used for matching or fill in the blank or um, uh, missing word type questions. So it's strictly for multiple choice. And it really is super simple when you make your questions. All you need to do is to remember a couple of things. First, when you write your question, be sure that you start with a capital letter, just as you would with a normal sentence. So for this question here, when performing an abdominal assessment on a client, in which order should you proceed? That's the question step. Do not include a question number. And after that, you would uh, put a carriage return to go to the next line and then use a capital A and brackets, space, and then put your answer in. Note that typical word processes, if you normally type this, so for example, if I were to um, put a carriage return there and type A colon space, note that it automatically puts it into numbered list. You don't want that. And so what you want to do is hit control Z on a, on a PC or command Z on a Mac, and that will move it back to just a typed A brackets, and then you can put in your answer. Note that you should not leave a blank space between the question stem and your first answer. So you would type A brackets space, and then write your answer, B bracket space, then the next answer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Note that this format must be followed strictly. A brackets and then a space and then the answer. If you fail to do any of those things, you're gonna get an error message when you're attempting to upload your answers to Moodle. So once you've got all your four answers or five answers or three answers in, however many answers you wanna put in, you're going to hit another carriage return and type answer in capital letters, colon, space, and then whichever one of these answers is the correct answer. So that's A-N-S-W-E-R, all caps, colon, space, capital, whatever the, the correct answer is. Remember that these choices must be capitalized and followed by a, a, a brackets and a space and then the answer. Note, remember also that the, the correct answer must be capitalized, colon, B. Then you leave a space and then go on to the next question. That's it for creating the multiple choice questions in the Aiken format. The only thing now that you need to remember is that when you are preparing the file to be um, imported into Moodle, you go to File. And in, in Microsoft Word, it's going to be Save Us. In this case, it's going to be Download Us. I'm using Google Docs. And you're going to make sure that you save it as a plain text. And that is a .txt file. Download that. And save it. And then this text file that you've just uh, exported either by saving us or by downloading if you're using Google Docs can be uploaded directly into Moodle to build your Moodle quiz. I hope this helps.